Um, this is different. <laughs> it's been a minute since I have been on my YouTube channel. Um, I figured I'd just kind of say, hey, happy new year. Hope everyone had a great Christmas. You know, a very healthy and happy, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year, all that jazz. Um, I have not posted in a very long time. I think it's like three months that I posted. Um, I figured I'd just kind of catch everyone up as to like what's been happening. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you're not, uh, I will leave my Instagram down below in the description. You guys are more than welcome to follow me. Um, my dad passed away August 26th of 2021. Um, and I kind of, like ever since that day, I have stayed away from social media. I have not posted on Instagram. And I like rarely post on Facebook anymore. And Twitter I don't even use anymore. Uh, unless I like like and share and you know all that good stuff. Um, but you know it it's been such like a crazy crazy the past couple of months. Like a week later then I had to put my cat Tabby down. Because she was getting old and all that stuff. So, back up to February 2021. I'll give you the rundown. My dad, my dad did have a drinking problem. And I'm not afraid to say that because they, everyone goes through it. We all have our own issues in our own ways. And that's quite all right. Um, and yes, I am aware my necklace is upside down. Please don't hate. Um, but my dad was laying in bed and he said to my mom, I don't feel well. Um, and mom's like, you're probably just not feeling well. A little while later, my dad said that he felt really sick. And his legs, my dad had really bad legs. He only could walk a certain amount of feet, and then he had to take a break. And, you know, he, I came into the room because my mom yelled my name. He, she said, Amelia, come here, I need you. And, you know, my mom, I came in and my dad had a, uh, blanket or like a towel over his head and he looked as white as a ghost like if you can imagine like the color of my pillowcase like a pale white I've never seen a man more white like white white in my life so we didn't really think much of it. My dad went to bed. He was fine. A few days later, my dad got up and he like laid on the edge, like corner of the bed, and just laid back. And I kid you not when I say I thought that my dad had just died right in front of my eyes. I legit cannot make this up. So I had this, my mom yelled my name and said, you need to call 911. <clears throat> um, so I called 911. Ambulance came, take him away. Um, and then from like there on out, he was just like in and out of hospitals. Um, well, brick, uh, one hospital, not multiple, but you know what I mean. I don't really want to get into too much detail, but, you know, just, he was in and out of hospital, like, galore, you know, 
And then it came to a point where my dad loved to swim. He loved to go on rides. But he couldn't do any of that because of his, his health. Um, so my dad had surgery and put a stent in himself. In uh, his, I think his ribs or his lungs or his kidney. One of the two. But he had a stent put in. So maybe that would try and help him. Um, and he was pretty well. He was pretty healthy. You know, he was great. He was back to normal. Um, and me and Dominic, if you guys know, I follow me on Instagram. I had a boyfriend, Dominic. I say had. Uh, I'll get into that in a little while. Um, but we, me and Dominic, it was his 18th birthday, and he wanted to go to the aquarium in Camden, I think it was, so it was like two, roughly two hours away from my house. Um, so I say my, he comes and gets me at like 10 in the morning, I say my dad was laying down in bed fine as fine can be my mom was at work I say to my dad I said I give him a hug I give him a kiss and I said I love you dad I'll see you when I come home he said okay no problem that was the last thing that he ever said to me was tell Dominic I said happy birthday that was the last thing that he said to me Sorry. <laughs> notifications. Um, so, I get a call from my mom. After we just fed the turtles. And now my mom never cries. She's a very strong woman. She only cries as if... If... Is, if she only cries if something really bad happened. So she called me... She called me on my phone absolutely hysterical like she was i couldn't hear what she was saying she was she's like you need to come home right now i'm like mom i'm two hours away she's like you need to come home your father's gone now in the back of my head i'm thinking what do you mean gone you know is he did he go for a walk did he just you know did they get into a fight and he walked out you know like she said no he is deceased everything in my in my whole body just stopped didn't know what to do didn't know what to think I didn't want to believe it I really didn't and I didn't believe it at first so yeah so we go home my mom's out there in tears with the cops and the people from the morgue come and go inside and take my dad away and as soon as I saw him him being wheeled out in a bag I just screamed out crying because I never thought that I would see my dad be rolled away for the last time um so yeah, that happened. Um, and obviously, my life has not been the same, and it's and it never will be. He was supposed to be there when I got married. He was supposed to be there when, you know, I had kids. I wanted to make him a granddad. That was, like, my dream. He was the one who was supposed to walk me down the aisle. It's like the one day... I was happy as can be, and the next I was planning my dad's cremation. And yes, we did have him cremated. So, that just goes to show that life can change like that. Um, I was trying to mute my TV, it's loud. Oh well, just try to ignore it. Anyway, um, and then the week after my dad's my dad passed 
we had to put my cat down because she was getting old. She was older than me in cat years. Um, she was urinating everywhere, things like that. So we just decided to put her down so she wouldn't suffer anymore. Then, two months later, if you guys know, me and Dominic were dating for a year and like two months. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know. Um, we had made the adult decision to part ways. Um, and that was a very hard decision because I had just started my new job at Wawa. Um, you know, my dad passed me and put my cat down. You know, and then on top of that, we just had to give my one cat to my cousin because, you know, we thought that that would have been easier for us. A um, lot, lot happened. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we made the decision to break it off. We're still really good friends. You know, we still talk, but of course that was really heartbreaking for me because... I loved him, you know, he was, he spoiled me rotten, he was a great guy, and he always had been, always will be. Um, so yeah. If you guys notice, I, if you see me on Instagram, I post once in a blue moon now, and I turn off my comments because I do not get, I do not really feel like being bombarded with questions on my Instagram. So, yeah. Um, so as you can see, 2021 was not the greatest year for me. It really was not last two years of my life were not the greatest and you know now i'm gonna grow up without a father in my life and i know i'm gonna get one of the one or two comments that are gonna be like oh i've lived without my dad my whole life well my dad was my best friend i was an only i was his only kid i was his only daughter i was legit daddy's little girl that my dad would give in to me in a heartbeat all i had to do was give him like a pouty look he was my best friend we went we did and went everywhere we did everything together we went everywhere together so you can imagine how heartbreaking it was to like lose a best friend but a father keep in mind two days after my dad passed away when me and dominic were together um, we went to the Appalachian Trains, or Appa I think it's Appalachian Trails, uh, to release my, to release Dominic's dad's ashes, so it was just a bad weekend, and, and then November 6th, we just went up to the beach and release some of the ashes in the water because my dad loved the water he loved being by the beach so we thought that was appropriate so yeah as you can see i had a crazy couple of months um and you know it just it sucks it, it really sucks thanksgiving obviously will never be the same christmas will never be the same but, unfortunately, at the end of the day, we're all human. We go through sad things, whether it be death, you know, things, things to that nature. Um, and I just want you guys to know that I truly love you all. And that you truly need to appreciate your family. Because, like I said, one day my dad was fine. I was at the... What well, one day my dad was fine, everything was good. The next day I get a call saying that my dad has passed away. You know, like, and that my mom was the one who found her husband on the floor deceased. Can you imagine, like, what that must have been like for her? That breaks my heart. 
you know, and he was alone, and he was probably very scared. And it just, it sucks. I hate death. I really do. Nobody wants to die. But unfortunately, death will come upon us eventually. And whether we like it or not, it's going to come. The, the world moves on and that's it. Nothing we can do about it. So there's a little life update of what's been going on, why I have not been posting on YouTube. And I just, on top of all this, my new job, my dad passing, putting my cat down, breaking up with my boyfriend. You know, it just... I just have not really been in the mood to post. I don't even know what to post anymore. My friends ask me to go live on Instagram. Uh, I don't even post on my Instagram, let alone go live. But maybe I will. I don't know. But anyway, I hope that kind of catches you up of where I have been on my, my life. Um, well, I have not been on social media a whole lot. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. Please do not have... I don't want to hear, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. You know, I'm so... I don't want any sad comments. I want positive. I want positivity. I have moved on. I will, al I will always grieve my father. That's never going to change. But at the end of the day, he's in my heart. He's always going to be there for me. In heaven. He's looking down at me. You know, I'm I'm an adult. I'm 21. I have my own bank account. I have my... Well, I, I'm on the same bank with my mom. But I have my own debit card. I don't drive yet, but I'm working on it. You know, I help my mom pay the bills. I... I help my mom. You know, I... Um, becoming an adult well not that I always haven't been but you know what I mean and you know I just it's just life you gotta gonna gotta kind of move on with it so yeah with that being said I'm gonna sign off because my friend's actually going to FaceTime me and we're going to play a game in a little while she texted me before I made this video so yeah if you guys have any ideas of what I should post, leave it in the comments down below. I love you all so, so much. Remember, love your family. Hug your mom, hug your dad, hug your animals. Because the next day is not promised. I guarantee you that. It is not promised. I love you all. Happy 2022. Let's make it a great year. Bye, guys.